Welcome back to the channel. Nice fall day. It's about 60 degrees this morning. You see the lawns mowed down below. Check it out up here. The leaves have just begun here. We're over at Dawson's grandma's house. Check out that red maple I planted. I think about 20, 25 years ago. Beautiful tree. So today's project is to help grandma out because she's tired of raking and this is what's begun and I'm gonna show you what we got to do here she's got this Cub Cadet XT1 and I believe it's got the Kohler yeah, 5400 series 18. It works really well. It's a 42 inch deck. It mows great, but it's not a mulcher. It's got a side chute and no bagger. So we're going to be installing this 42 inch Cub Cadet bagger collector series. It'll work on several models, but it'll work on the 42 and the 46. This is what we're going to assemble for her. You need to open up the box. Familiarize ourselves with the parts. We got pins, washers, nuts. So we do need some kind of wrench. More pins, wing nuts. It's like a pin bolt and brackets. So most of these baggers you start off by putting a bracket on that supports it so that's what it looks like so let's get started on that we'll get the the parts out and see what we got going on here all right i got all our parts laid out here real heavy duty brackets two heavy ones we got a vertical support that's welded it's pretty heavy stuff that's like three sixteenths three sixteenths same and then this one is quarter inch that's real heavy and now we're going to get and there's our tube our cover our side chute our collector a filter the large bracket one of them little rods i don't know what it is and two baskets i've got a bag of parts end caps and some kind of bracket so let's read our instructions here all right what we got is uh this bracket the heavy one goes down with the holes in the bottom pictures are quite small we got to put this bracket on and this mounts to the rear and up so this would go on here right in there and then we put the i think the thumb screws in it yeah so we'll get them on. See if we need any wrenches at all. So we take this bracket, slide her on there, put the bolt through because it's square carriage, put our wing nut on. And they got like a neoprene in them so they're not gonna vibrate and fall off, which is a good thing. And then, ugh, We'll get another one on there. And they mount this direction through them slots. I've had a bagger for, I don't know, 30 years at least. And I'm telling you, I'm not much of a raker on leaves. And I don't like to grind them up and leave them on the lawn. I like to clean them off the lawn to stop algae and growth so my mom saw me bagging the lawn and saw that you just drive right over it and you can see the green grass it just picks up everything the only downfall is you got to stop and empty them but you got mulch right away you know attach two hitch side brackets to the rear support the hooks on the side brackets should point downwards like they do flip over the assembly and mount the hitch support bracket to the universal support bracket so the hitch bracket probably is this one right yes 
and now they want this flipped this way and then we mount this is there a difference yes they want I can't see it real tiny pictures apparently they want the square hole toward me so it would be this way and that fits down inside there like so that looks good so now we'll put two more thumb screws in there I kind of like these thumb screws a lot better than wrenches and she should be able to disassemble this easy if she wants to get done for the season should be able to just lift the whole bracket and leave it in the garage or something but I wanted to get over here today and get this thing going because we got that storm coming from New Mexico whatever San Diego I think it started coming across the and we're go I think it's in the Ohio Valley right now and so we got hours I think Tonight the rain's going to hit, then it's going to get down in the 30s and 40s, and in a few days we got snow, the white is coming. Alright, so we got two thumb screws, okay, so let's see what's next, see if they want you to tighten it up. Flip the assembly over and mount the hitch support bracket to the universal bracket. It might be easier during the mounting stage to leave this hardware only finger tight to facilitate lining up the hitch hole clevis pin. So I didn't tighten them up. This wiggles. I'm not sure what goes in there. They don't show you yet. And then use the two holes closest to the cross mount. Okay, we'll look on the tractor here. They are already on the tractor, so we'll look at them. So if you can see that, right here on the tractor, they're already mounted. Nice shiny ones. So this unit comes in like, like this. lift it up and drop it down see that and then the, the clevis pin the reason they want you to keep this loose is this way she can mount a hip hitch pin here and it gives you another hole so this bagger doesn't have to come off to be able to haul her garden cart around that's kind of nice she's got a garden cart to pick up brush whatever and then um, mount the assembly on the tractor these two holes closest Place the hooked ends, yes, on the shoulders of the tractor frame. Install the clevis pin. So we're going to find the clevis pin in our hardware bucket. This great big one. And a great big pin. So what direction? Do they want the pin up or down? If it's up, she can see it. So let's go through the hitch. Like that, and then the big pin. That's a nice one. And it's new and stiff, so let's tap it on with a hammer. Like that. See, now it's mounted to the tractor. Then, install the clevis pin for Nardur, blah, blah, blah. We'll go on to step three. It goes one, two. Line the hole. There's no three. Now, the clevis pin can be fed from the bottom through the hitch blade underneath. Yeah, blah 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 blah. You may need to push the pin into the accessible. If you left it finger tight during the assembly, tighten all the hardware securely at this time. So we're going to tighten up these two wing nuts. Should be good okay and then if she wants to remove this assembly 
these shouldn't have to be loosened anymore. You just turn this pin out, pull on it, lift this whole unit up. No tools required. And then, it was sunny a second ago, nice. Check it out, the clouds are here already. So let's get this done. Um, tighten it up. Then now we gotta mount this, the vertical bracket, okay? That's this big heavy boy. And it probably just sits there, right? And then we mount, I, I believe you can move it left and right depending on how many bag system and what type of mower you have. So let's see what that says. This is how you do it when you didn't read the directions ahead of time because I didn't have them. Okay, this fits a 38, a 42, and a 46. And she has a 42. So by looking at the rear, there's an A, B, and C hole. See that? So the 42 goes in the B. Which is the center. And then we got one more wing bolt. And the square's on this side. So the wing's in the back. Kind of awkward. They should have had you put this on first, right? Get your hand back there. Ah, I still have my injured ankle. I can't hardly bend it. I believe I broke it. I did not go to the doctors. I've sprained my ankle several times, different ankles. And then I broke my left ankle when I was younger. And then I had a, a little roof mishap. I was, uh, it was probably 10, a little over 10 years ago maybe 15 now. I was doing a roof and the helper, we were stripping shingles and the helper that was with me had a sugar attack and he was unstable on his feet. So I told him to head on down and sit in the truck, whatever and whatever. He was having a sugar attack or something. And so I said, better get down. He got down, then he ended up going home. And then the wind picked up and blew my ladder down while I'm on the roof. Nobody was around, and we're on a, a road with no houses, just that one, and I had to jump, and I jumped into the dump trailer, full of shingles, eventually, eventually I jumped, and that was my only way down, and I broke my ankle, but I finished up the roof on a broken ankle, whatever, um, so I put the bracket on, position C is recommended, the mounting position, but you may use other, okay, let's read that again. Install the vertical support onto the mounting assembly on the tractor by hooking it over the cross mounting bracket. Align the vertical support with a hole that best suits the deck size. So we did the B hole, which is for the 42 inch. Secure the support bracket using the carriage bolt and the wing nut. No, position C is recommended mounting position but you may use other mounting positions to accommodate other attachments. Now we have to install the hanger assembly. And we got to do that with two carriage bolts that we do have. We do have one wing nut left. So apparently there's two bolts and nuts. So we got to assemble that, which is in the box. And this holds your baskets. And it would go that way. And it's kind of a strange hookup right now because it's a pretty big slot right here. Can you see that? Hope you're in view. Yeah, it's a... Uh, That's all right, it'll work. Okay, so using two of these, the square holes on this side, I think it says with two bolts, even though there's three holes. Let's see what it says here. Install and secure the hanger under the vertical support using two carriage bolts. 
two cup washers, and two lock nuts. Assemble the remaining bagger components. So the picture shows the top too. I wonder why they don't have something in the bottom one. So we got cup washers. The carriage bowl obviously has to go all the way in here. The cup washer probably makes it spring loaded. I don't know. Make it tighter as we tighten it up. They're half inch. I brought a ratchet. I would like her to use this today before the rain hits. Give it a test. The leaves aren't off the all off the trees yet, but she has a lot of pine needles, pine cones, a lot of debris that she rakes up on a tarp, and that's a lot of work. So I think the bagger is a good choice. So these cupped washers I got facing outward so that it gets a little more spring tension on it. Like that. And then I should have brought my drill up here, right? We use hand tools as little as much as possible, you know. Not like the olden days. Okay, now snug these up. I'm not going to get crazy and totally trash them washing. I'm sure it's not designed for that. And then, there's four, four of these little caps. We're going to set these in there. Seal this off. Probably tap them in with a hammer. And then, you believe we're running out of hardware already? That's good. I wanted to see how long it'd take to assemble this. For someone who hasn't read the directions, you know? Okay, they're in all the way. Now the next step... Is... What do we got left for hardware? We got one wing nut. Maybe they give you an extra one, I don't know. So, where are we here? Got a supplemental page. Oh, I left it over there. Let's see what the supplemental page was. Two of them, three of them. Oh, it's putting the end caps in. We did that. Supplemental sheet. It's to uh, twist your hose into that bracket. Install the ring onto the free end of the hose. So we got to look at that yet. And then this is accessories. We don't care about that. Go back to our page we lost. Assemble the remaining bagger components. With the mounting brackets assembled and in place on the tractor, snap the upper chute support in place by first clipping the side portion so right there so we'll grab that and this goes like so I'm always afraid of snapping plastic. I'm sure it's got to go that way. Sure. 
I see this popping off if you bump a tree or something. I already see a flaw. They should have a total ring you just slide on or something. But, that was snapped on. But, she doesn't have the trees and rocks and stuff that I have, so she probably won't be bumping into things. And it sits in from the body where mine sits way out on both sides because I got a three bin. Um, let's see here. Snap the front side of the upper shoe. So we did that. If not already done so by the factory, install the screen into the bag or cover. Okay, they didn't do that. So now we're going to get the bag or cover, we got to snap the screen in it, and that must go on this side. I'll put down a piece of cardboard so we don't scratch this up yet. We'll let her scratch it up. And then we got to put this cover on figure out the direction it goes here it can't go there because the chute comes in there let's see how this goes or this way or over way over here so this is the air exhaust and it's going to catch the leaves so this snaps in right here Okay, so we got our screen installed. Now, let's see what's next. We've got Yep, feed, feed it under the clip. So now next page we got to can you hear the horse's hooves? The Amish are going by. Hey. Well, that's a good mode of transportation right there. Bale of hay and some water, maybe an apple or two. Okay, so slope gauge. What's a slope gauge for? I don't know why they went to tip over with a bagger. I don't know, they jumped right into something else here. Contents of carton again. So, I feel a sprinkle. We may not even get this done. Install the bagger cover onto the hanger as shown. The cover goes inside the two mounting tabs. So we've got that rod. And that rod has to go through here one direction or the other. I wonder what holds that in place. Slide the hinge pin. The pictures are so small, you have to kind of read it twice. What other component parts we got here? We've got a small bracket, a couple wing nuts, some black bolts. So, let me read this. This looks tiny here to see what they're talking about. So, this pin slides in there and just the plastic holds it. On mine, there's clips. So, this has to slide in as a hinge. You 
get it in the right locay here. Like that. One end's pointed. Slide it on through. Oh, we're not down there. There and there, that's better. See if we can get all these lined up here. Don't you wish things were assembled? For the amount of money you pay for stuff. Some assembly required. Maybe I need my assistant out here to hold that end. Hold on a second. Well, it wasn't very hard. I just lifted this end up and it slid right through. The metal rod touches here so it stops and it touches here so it can't come back out. So that should be it right there. And then this little pin connects in this. That's gotta be the right spot. And then See how the rest of our fitment is here. There, that's closed, that's locked. That's good, that's the way it goes. Then you just lift up on it. Oh, it locks on the side here, that's kind of cool. See that? So now, I think you push in on that, yep. That's kind of nice, it won't pop open on her. What I'm gonna do, get my box out of here it's starting to sprinkle but we'll get our bags installed they slide right on I hope she gets to be able to use it today and now we got to do our our chute and our hose and then when this closes it should latch here and here Probably, probably this needs to slide back a little bit because with our initial bracket here, line that up better. And that latches. How's this one latch? That latches. So that's good. And then I might turn the tractor around and get a better view. See what we got here. Yeah, it says here, open the bag or cover by pushing in on the right rear side tab with your right hand and lifting the cover with your left hand in the center. So it's a double lock. So that's good. Install both grass bag assemblies. We did. Now we got to install the boot. And install the boot rod mount to the boot using two shoulder screws and two flange lock nuts. From the hardware pack. Ensure that the shoulder screws are installed on the interior of the boot. Okay, so we got to take the uh, parts bag here. Two bolts, two nuts, and the bracket, the, the boot bracket. And then it looks like I got to get a different size socket. It looks like about a 10 mil or a 3 8 see which one that is and then let's see if they're three eighths or not let's see if it's a mannequin that's not nope let's see if it's 10 mil so they got American and standard huh no maybe it's seven sixteenths it is okay it's a mannequin so now we take our boot and over here on this side, this assembly, like if she's mowing deep grass, she'll put this thing up with this bungee. I don't know how exactly she did it, but to hold this up, 
I'm not sure. We might have to take this off. I have to read that quick. So we got to put them bolts in this right here in that double hole. How well can you see? Not. Okay, so I believe. Let me check the photo again. The bracket bolt goes forward. It, uh, it's a tiny picture, man. Tiny, tiny. Yeah, it goes out toward the front. Like this. So the bolt's in the back. The bracket. I'm not... A second wrench out here to hold that. Our lock nut. Let's see if we can tighten it up and hold them steady. No. The inside seven. I gotta grab a seven sixteenths. Hold on. Check it out. The rain's right over the horizon here. So let's see if we can finish this up here. We got hold that seven sixteenths still. I really wanted to test this on this video too. That'd be cool. Make sure it worked, you know. We tighten these two up. Like that. And now, if you look at the tractor, got to be some kind of hole or something that that pin goes through. I don't know what that relief hole there is. So, if this mounts down here like this. Oh, right there's a hole. Right in that wheel. Check that out. I wish mine did that. It wouldn't come unhooked. Hmm. And then bring this around. Check that out. So where's this hole go, right? So let's drop this down and see what we got. Oh, over here, check this out. The plug, there's a bolt. I bet it fits right over that bolt. Let's see if it does. It does, check that out. They thought I had good on this one. See the weight pressing down on that? That's pretty rugged. Now, see what other parts we got left here. One part we got one wing nut. So the wing nut goes on there. Does it fit? It does. They thought of everything. All right, so now we're all out of hardware. So we got two parts left. So what we got to do now is the, the uh, what do you call it? The hose, the chute. Installing the hose. Thread the upper end of the hose securely into the upper chute support let's see what they're showing as a shoot support um, there are two tabs on the lower side inside part of the upper shoot so let's go over and see here we got there's one tab I guess right there so, read this again. Thread the upper end of the hose securely into the upper chute support. There are two tabs on the lower inside part of the upper chute support to allow for secure threading. See figure 20, which is tiny. So we gotta turn it in clockwise. Is there a difference? This is a really rugged hose. That's about an eight inch. So put that in there. Well, it can't be clockwise. It's got to be counterclockwise. Let's see if it'll turn.
this is a nice setup. You know what I like about it? Is the hose is clear. So you can see if the leaves stopped filling, you know. Okay, so we've got the hose in there. It stopped turning. See if I can pull it out. No. So now the hose and the upper chute support are left-handed. There we go. Left-handed thread. Thread counterclockwise until secure. Slide the hose over the boot mounted on the cutting deck. Uh, I thought we had one more part left, didn't we? So we do have one more part left. See this? So I don't see this in here yet. Did I miss something? Flip a page where we get crazy here. Um, just says bag or usage. I don't know. We forgot something here, guys. Is this a lock for this? No. This may lock it up here then. Did it say that? I missed it. Thread the upper end hose securely onto the upper chute support. We'll go back to the beginning and see what the upper chute support is. Um, in the diagram, you're not even showing this thing. See our parts? So, wonder where this goes, guys. This might lock it onto the bagger itself. Let me do a little more research. Something's missing. Somehow we didn't seem to see this, but this red's on. And we, did we go? We went left-handed also. Yeah, same way. And now you just bend this like this, and it's just spring-loaded on there. So when you hit bump. Or something, this will slide up and down. Mm -hmm. When move over this way just a little. Um, right here's the wing nut that holds the chute on. That metal pin goes in the bogey wheel back bracket. That's a nice way to pop that off. So you unscrew that, pull the pin up. This chute assembly just pulls right off. Then this assembly, I would leave it hooked to the to the unit, and back here. You just pull that pin and that whole thing comes up and off in there. <coughs> but this thread's in there so difficult, I thought it was difficult, that if it was mine, I'd almost put a little zip screw in there so it doesn't come undone. Why don't you? No, because it's brand new. And uh, what I do like about this is while she's mowing, she can see the debris go through a clear hose. And then when she sees it stop moving, the bags are full. And then everybody makes the mistake right away of doing half of their lawn thinking it's all in the bag. Well, it filled up a long time ago. And it's going to plug up. So it'll plug. It'll stop. You'll see it stop flowing. On the Craftsman, there's a gauge here, and the wheel spins. And when the wheel stops spinning, it's full. And uh, so it's raining, guys. But we have to try this because it's part of this video. See that? So I don't know if you were in focus there or not, but sorry about that. So this thing just slides right on here. Like that. And then this assembly can go up and down. I'll show you. So this can slide on like that. And then just press the lock here. I got to keep checking this because I'm not sure you're in focus. There we go. Is there's a push right here where it says stop when the bags are full and lift it up right here. You gotta press this lock off. Then you take your basket, bring it out, grab your, you know, it's gonna be full. Go like this and empty it out. In the winter months, I'd have her collapse this and throw it in the garage so we don't get mice in it. Make sure the bags are emptied. To close it, just bring it down. I pretty much smash mine down, so just go down. It locks, it's, a, it's already on. And uh, 
let's give this a quick test even though the grass is wet let's see if it works and otherwise I'll have to make another trip over but I'd like to finish this video out you ain't got to pick it all up. right well let's uh, test this bad boy out is there a nut or something And the, the leaves are wet, guys, and so I didn't even put the mower deck down. Did you see it? It's up on high. And the nice thing with that is you're not grinding, mulching, and all that. You're just picking up leaves. So you can do that. Let's take a look inside this hopper and see how much we got in that short bit. I did uh, 20 by 20, almost 400 square feet. Come here and lift this up, Grandma. You open it for me. Two hands. Press in, press in firmly. She has a sore right hand right now, um, a cat bitter. You might, yeah, don't be hitting it. Um, I'll show her how to do it. So what you do is you come in and press this. Look it, see how you can just push the plastic over? Cause you're just pushing a little piece of plastic. And then you just go like this. Check this out guys, she's got mulch right away, it grinds them leaves up about one tenth of the space it was. We got, and this will pack down to, I'm a little bit over half, so I guess if the lawn is completely covered like it is, that you could probably do a 30 by 30 and then bag it, you know, go ahead and dump them, and then if you, uh, if you go down through here, see this? Look at grandma, if you go down here and do the outer perimeter, you could probably go around like two or three times and then dump it. My suggestion when you bag is what I did, which is what? Stay right together and you're all done. Because mm. you see the leaves keep falling, guys? They just keep right on and going. So stay focused, get one area done and move on. So we'll play around a little more. I just wanted to show you how to... Uh, Install an XT1 dual bagger from Cub Cadet. I'll show you that part number again. It's at Cub Cadet 42 at 19B3 It goes on a 42 or 46 inch Cub Cadet bagger. It fits the XT1 series. And we hope that this is going to eliminate a lot of labor for her raking this year. What do you think? Think you're going to like it? Yes, I do. Thank you for watching. Happy fall, guys. I hope this video made it easier. Remember to like, subscribe, and uh, throw a comment down there. We'll see you on the next one. I like that clear shoot. Everything you can see going up in it. stay in one location she'll like it better if she jumps all over it'll take a long time to mow like that but she'll get used to it it's a pretty nice tractor that steers really well and turns sharp